hello welcome to another wiki procedure and today we're going to look on how you can register a charitable children institution in kenya down here below we have given you an external link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website page where we have given you detailed information on how you can go about the application process additionally on the left hand right hand side of our screen we have uh, included a select language option and which by clicking it uh, a list of languages uh, to choose from is going to pop up and you can choose a language which uh, you find easy for you to comprehend and by choosing that language what this will do this is going to trans uh, translate all the information on the wiki procedure website page to the language which you have chosen for example i've chosen kiswahili and everything all the information has been translated to Swahili and you can easily revert back to English by choosing English once again. Uh, additionally, uh, uh, we've included uh, the a link to the application document and you can easily download it by clicking uh, on this link right here and uh, as we move on with the presentation we're going to see uh, how you're going to fill this uh, application document and where to submit it and we have also included links to external websites where you can get more information about how you can make uh, the registration application for this charitable children uh, institution and we are going to go all through the uh, pr the process but before we move ahead uh, i'll urge you to go to uh, to and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button also in this video so you can get notifications when we upload new content on our wiki procedure our website uh, youtube page so let's get back to the, our presentation and the list of items which you are going to cover in this session include the need for registration for a charitable children institution the eligibility criteria the required documents steps to follow when making the applications the applicable fees the validity period processing time, office location and contact information, and any other information that we might find relevant uh, on how uh, how uh, it, uh, to register the charitable children institution in Kenya. So welcome to our presentation today, which is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. The need for the registration. Uh, registration gives the, uh, the institution, the charitable children institution, a uh, formal recognition and also enables the charitable children inst institution to be listed in the government records. This also allows the institution to legally carry out its activities in Kenya. The eligibility criteria is as follows. A charitable, charitable children institution, CCI, is a home or institution which has been established by a person, corporate or an incorporate a religious organization or a non-governmental organization seeking to be granted approval by the national council for uh, children's services to manage a program for the care protection rehabilitation or control of children therefore a charitable, a ch charitable children institution shall not include a rehabilitation school established by the uh, minister under section 47 of the children's act a school within uh, the meaning of uh, the within the meaning of the Education Act, any health institution, a children's day care center, nursery, or any other similar establishment. The required documents are as follows. A com community assessment report, which is a feasibility study report, indicating that, uh, that establishing uh, the CCI, the Charitable Children Institution, is of absolute necessity within the community. We also need to submit uh, the constitution of the intended uh, charitable children institution, arch architectural and site plans for the intended CCI, financial plans on how the agency intends to fund the CCI and its expenditure plan, audited uh, fin uh, financial accounts, and that, that is uh, their books of account, evidence of property ownership, here you are supposed to pro produce a title deed or, or uh, a lease agreement, uh, the prog program plan uh, showing the vision, mission, how many children are to be admitted, programs to be supported, project, uh, project agreements which indicate agreements with donors and if there are any links with other uh, relevant stakeholders and the programs that the CCR intends to run. You also need uh, uh, to attach area advisory committee minutes, 
Early Advisory Committee Inspection Report, Public Health Inspection Report, Certificate of uh, Corporate Registration and uh, List of its Trustees, uh, Children's Compliance Procedures, uh, Behavior Management Policy for the Children, Certificate of Good Conduct for all the staff uh, from the uh, Police Department, the Curriculum Vitae of all the staff members, Medical uh, Certificate for all food handlers, a human resource policy and a list of potential members of the board of trustees and to get uh, you're supposed to uh, send all of these uh, together with a duly filled uh, application form so let's see the procedure how you can go about the uh, registration process first of all Anyone intending to open a charitable children's institution must get approval from the Ministry in Charge of the Children's Affairs through the National Council for a Children's Service, NCCS, and the Area Advisory Council, ACC. This process can only be done in person and you cannot apply it online. So the first step is to do a name search and reservation. And this can be done by visiting the Office of the Registrar General to do a name search or to do a center near you so you can do a name search and reserve the name uh, for the charitable children institution and once you're through with this uh, visit the uh, ncc with the institution's name together with the required documents uh, these documents we have already mentioned them uh, in the required documents section and you, here you'll be given an application form at the ncc as offices to fill and submit and you'll also be, be given a cci checklist uh, which you're supposed to make sure uh, you have all the required documents so once you fill the application form make sure that everything in the checklist is in place submit the application form to the area Advi advisory council operating in your area the sec shall acknowledge uh, the receipt of your application within 30 days uh, after the date of receipt uh, of the receipt of your application and shall indicate the date uh, which shall not be later than 30 days from the date of uh, receipt of your uh, application when they will come and inspect your premises to make sure uh, uh, everything is uh, meets the required standards then the SEC will uh, then visit your CCI to carry out inspections to see if the charitable children institution has acquired the set has acquired the set national standards for best best practices and if the institution does not meet the required criteria uh, the institution shall be informed as such with appropriate information on which areas require improvement before approval and uh, if the uh, institution uh, can improve on these areas they can uh, once again go and uh, make up an, uh, uh, another uh, uh, application for registration uh, with the, uh, the recommendations in place and if the uh, institution meets the criteria the director of the area advisory uh, area uh, advisory committee shall uh, within the approval of the national council for children services recommend to the ministry of labor and social protection to issue a certificate of registration to the charitable children uh, institution and this is usually after three months you need to note that the registration is free of charge the fees applicable uh, registration and uh, the licenses are free of charge the validity period is three years and after three years uh, you need to apply for a renewal the processing time is the is uh, usually takes a maximum of three months however uh, the processing time also depends on the time the area advisory committee takes to inspect the charitable children's institutions premises and forward its uh, recommendation to the nccs the location of the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection, they're located uh, along Bishop Road in uh, in the Social Security House. And you, also, you can also visit them through their website www.childrenscouncil.go.ke. And you can get uh, more information uh, on uh, the on registration uh, through the Association of Charitable Children Institutions of Kenya. And um, you can visit them through their website of acc.i www.accikunity.org and you can get more information on how uh, you can go about the registration process so uh, thank you for watching uh, but before we conclude i want us to go through this application um, 
uh, application form so this is the form for registration of a charitable children institution so you're supposed to mention which type of organization if it's an ngo a religious organization or uh, an individual endeavor uh, you need to note uh, the year of inspection uh, from by the sec uh, the name of the institution you're going to get this name uh, through a name search and reservation the physical and postal address the email address the name of the chairman uh, uh, and his details his or her details uh, you need to uh, also indicate the number of uh, children uh, already hosted in the institution the capacity of the number of children which the institution can host and uh, sign against all the information that you have provided so once you have you have done this you're supposed to attach the required documents uh, which you've already mentioned and submit it uh, to the area advisory committee uh, so that they can come and make inspections and give you uh, uh, recommendations uh, through their inspection report so uh, that's it to it is uh, quite simple uh, if you have any uh, any queries you can just uh, go through uh, these uh, the information in our wiki procedure website page so once again i urge you to go and uh, hit the subscribe button hit the like button and uh, i wish you all the best in your endeavors to register your charitable children's institution so thank you for watching and have a blessed day